I'm still gonna drop the lost orb. And hit, and hit. Hi guys, Yaka here. So I actually, of course you you uh, you should see the ramp paladin, which is all the craze as it is at the moment on ladder play. Um, it's a little bit of a scummy deck, I know, but it is so crazy and, and I think you should definitely hear about it here as well. Um, right now, a very small sample size. I am at 70% win rate with the deck in a couple of thousand legend. I just shaving off the legend ranks as it is right now. It's completely nuts. Uh, I'll leave a deck code in the description for this specific deck. It is really expensive to craft. And the probability, if you're looking at how, what is it that Blizzard might want to do, then this has a high chance of being nerfed. And it's maybe it's not even the cards, which is expensive to, to build. So be careful about crafting this deck. You need to have either the cards or enough dust that you kind of don't care about it. But it is strong, and you can really take advantage uh, of the situation as it is right now. Um, there's actually only a few key cards to keep. It's it's somewhat simple to play, there. But there's some core game mechanics that you need to master. You need to figure out the trades, making good trades, and all this kind of stuff. There's some basic um, um, capabilities that you need to be really good at managing, uh, counting what can your opponent do, because one of the weaknesses this Paladin does have is in the early game, and especially around um, Token Druid, they can build a board fast and strong enough that you cannot answer it. But the mulligan, the game plan, whoop, there we go, the mulligan and the game plan is actually more or less the same. You have high Abyss Allura, and you definitely want to keep her. If you're on the coin, High Absolute across different classes has a 90% win rate when played uh, if kept in the mulligan. So that's insane. And that's if you're on the coin. If you're not in the coin, it's it drops to around 70%. Again, completely crazy. If you're not in the coin, you want to Go for a hard mulligan if you do have high abyss allura in for want uh, want makers. Um, so that's kind of what you want to go for. Want makers, you can keep that, but you really, really want to go for high abyss allura. And if you're on the coin, you even want to throw want makers back. You don't uh, care, you just want to find high abyss allura. Uh, also, Nostormu is quite good. And your red scale dragon tamers and sphere of sapiens because then it'll allow you to shuffle and find some stuff. Sphere of sapiens doesn't really have a good uh, kept win rate uh, as opposed to the other cards, but sphere of sapiens is <coughs> does have a lower drawn win rate, uh, meaning that. Even though it's not great in the beginning phases because you rather want the other cards uh, to help you win, it is worse to throw it back and draw it later on. The, the card is best in the mulligan, and if you do not have those two cards, no Stormu or High Abyss Allura, you just keep Sphere Sapiens and use that to shuffle through and find the stuff. If you do have them, it doesn't really do anything. You rather want some initiative. For instance, Armor Vendors. Armor Vendors can be fine, but if you don't have your core cards, you might want to consider throwing them back. If you're up against an aggressive class, if you know you're up against an aggressive class, you can keep that and also, uh, well, red scales you should want anyway, um, but then you can choose to keep your Armor Vendors. Those are actually quite okay early game. Uh, under light angling rod is kind of fine, but it is definitely uh, people are overkeeping this card way too much because you much rather want to go for the rest because that's really where you win. Uh, I'll show you some ridiculous games uh, in the gameplay section. So that's around the mulligan, and I did touch upon the win uh, the win conditions behind the deck, but. 
you only have your high abyss allura and whenever you play a spell you cast a spell and the only spells that are in the deck are tip the scales so tip the scales are definitely always a throwback uh, and if you do have a storm in the opening hand uh, then you can choose to keep your scrap guard colossus because that's really a stabilization playing so on four you play another storm and then scrap yard colossus of the cards that you can choose to keep um scrap yard if you have no storm scrap yard colossus has the highest win rate of all the late game cards if kept in the mulligan and that coincides completely if you do have Nostormu or if you have not. If you do have him, keep Scrapyard Colossus. If you do not, look for the win condition cards. It seems like it's a little bit of a meme when it's kind of two cards that you're only looking for, but you have two to capabilities in the deck, shuffling and all this kind of stuff. So it's actually rather consistent. And consistent enough that it is completely crazy like i said with a 70 percent win rate uh that that's high and where i'm at in legend like people are taking this very seriously between top 3000 it's not like people are just playing meme decks uh so 70 percent in one to two thousand legend that is uh that's a hard try and it's uh it's passing definitely uh, but be aware, it is really expensive, like 10,000 plus. I haven't done the math at all, but I heard someone uh, say that it was maybe around 15,000 dust contingent of whatever list it might have been. But this one definitely works. All the other red paladins also works. There's not that many tech cards in here. If you could argue, then Armor Vendor is a tech card for... The early game it is a tech card for stabilizing against the aggressive decks people are running ooze against uh, rogues and stuff like that it's up to you what you want to go for but there are some slots uh, available to tech in and do things against certain um, certain classes if you're seeing something specific where you're situated in the, in the meta uh, where, where your meta is at where you're where you are placed in the ranks um, with that said, do not put any spells in as a way to try and take the... Because you want to make sure that you only have tip the scales as the spell. Because you don't want uh, High Absolute to cast anything else. So be aware about that. Okay, so that's it. I am... Um, I will... Uh, if you are up for stuff like this, uh, do you know all the jazz, uh, the subscribes and the thumbs up and the comments. Thank you so much if you are up for it. And all you guys that are already following and subscribing to the channel, thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Let's have a look at the gameplay. Tip the scales. Armor vendor is... Not gonna do anything here. I need to do a full mulligan, see if I can draw into the Warp Makers, Red Scale Dragon Tamers. I really need to ramp and cheat here. Perfect. Sphere Sapiens is the best one to get early game. Then I can try and push for with the want maker in my hand. I can try and push for high absolura. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. That's like bad. Armor vendor must probably be the best. Probably be the best one. Crab Rider. Yep. Thank you. And then we're going in. Clear the board. Uh, clear the board. And then we're gonna want maker into animated broomstick to clear the board. Stop doing that. Mm. 
Mm, no, I need either a combo piece or something faster. Good for the next turn. Uh, okay. And clear that one. Get rid of some health. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if you get like... Okay. Let's just draw. Even though it's a massive setup turn. For the next turn. I do have a chance. He'll go down to one minion. Hi, Abasalora. Thank you. Next turn, I'll go nuts. Clear that one. He should be able to clear the 4 2. If not, then I can bump that in and then desperate measures. Yeah, he's carrying. He had a good chance, but now I got it. Uh, no, I need to get that one out of the deck in the most unreasonable manner that I can. Spell burst. And then we will rush into a bunch of stuff. Uh, actually, it's only this one. And then 32 points of damage. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, that's really high rolly. No. Then I actually don't need one anchor. I can just shuffle that one back. Carnival Clown? But I have no Storm I can keep it, I think. I want some heavy hitters and maybe also High Abyss Lura. Scrapyard Colossus. Dark Moon Rabbit. Rider. If he drops like, yeah, tip the scales. Okay, let's do this. It might get to stick because then I can coin a storm move into tip the scales. I'm still gonna drop the lost orb. And hit, and hit. I do have a board control option and a board load option. Free admission. That spells ticketus. But I do have a bunch of threats in my hand already. This is going to be 8, and another 3 is 6. I'm just going to play this regularly. Oh, I guess we'll do this. Be a five five. Now Let's do this. Clear that way. Sure, why not? And that'll be thirty two points of damage. Uh, he needs to clear again. I'll draw one circus amalgam. Out of these two. I 
Did we get there? Likely just twisting nether, but school spirits. Almost enough. Draws a fragment. And school spirits, that's enough. That's enough. That's quite a high cost. Let's just get these out there and this one as well this one and this one will be able to clear taunt minions maybe and then that will be 6 12 16 that's something Uh, that's a bit bad. Can he actually port control his way? Interesting. Interesting. This one and then a border clowns. Yes. Harmless little bunny. Do we have another carnival clowns in there? But I only have two ten costs minions left. So if he does get voice rush, then that's kind of bad. That is quite okay. Oof, I got the other carnival clown. I just just need a ten drop. Also have Murga McGurgle in there. Which is another board load. First demon enhanced dreadlord, I think. Because then I need to punch through a bunch of stuff. But he's really putting up a good fight. Some kind of board clear? Heal to full. Uh, okay, what can we do here? That one's fine, then that one and that one will clear that. Or. And then I can drop. Uh, we can clear that one, and then he's done with the healing. Let's do that. Guess we can use this one. Just keeping it a secret a little bit. We'll do this and we will put them there. I guess that'll be fine. Just need to put in the damage now. Likely he'll have stuff to do, but if he needs to use a board clear on this smaller board, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Let's 
really just three cards that I'm looking for. McGurgle Prime, and Soth and Scrapyard Colossus. Best draw, Scrapyard Colossus. Fire Breather is probably the worst demon so far. Uh, maybe also these, the Moshas. Okay. Uh, a different card. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's clear that one. I don't really want to donate some armor. I guess we can just do this. Not that it matters too much. But now we know armor vendor is at the bottom, so it's either going to be the angling rods, the Lura Prime, or the Ensoth, or the Colossus. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cards to get. One in six to get the Scrapyard Colossus. Uh, it's quite annoying. There we go. Yes, please. A bump in that one. Then we can maybe McGurgle Prime is a little bit better because maybe I can get the Divine Shields and some Rush Minions to clear the Lifesteal Minion. Okay, if it bumps in there. Okay, he's down to one fragment. Hysteria. And he'll bump into that one. Okay. Guess I'll just present a board of carnival clowns and then deal with them if you can. I could get this one. No storm. Uh, let's go for the clowns. Kind of like. Lethal. What do you have? And if he board clears, then and Soth probably again lethal. Twisting Nether. Then we're gonna go for Ensoth. Really hoping to draw my Gurgle Prime. There we go. Then it's the rods. Guess now it's just gonna be in south right. Sure. Okay, I was just about initiative. Twenty one points of damage. Kind of like, uh, come on! Can he answer everything? He might be able to. The underlight angling rods can generate another prime. I wonder. Well, not a prime directly, but a murgle McGurgle. 
Uh oh. And what you? <laughs> well, then on the light angling rod off the top would still be lethal, right now. But that was a good hysteria. <laughs> this is a tough fight. We're probably quite low on resources, both of us. But I'm really low on resources. Stop doing that! Mm. Okay, I'm guaranteed to get a weapon now. Do we do this and then hope to get some blue gills? Or do we just set up? We set it up, right? Fish flinger. Then the swing by the weapon is lethal. We don't do anything right now. You can clear the board, that's fine. Just as long as he has got no healing. And then my Gurgle Pri Prime could give me Rush and all this kind of stuff. Charge. To punch through some taunts. He can burn the deck, he can clear the... that's fine. Just as long as he can't deal with the weapon and the board. And dealing with the weapon could also be like a taunt, but then he needs to clear the board and taunt. Oh, my mouth is like just uh, talking about because I'm a little bit uh, nervous what he can actually do. It's been such a tough fight. I think that is fine because he has got no strong men. Cascading disaster, yes. Ticketus is also a yes. But that's still fine. Oh, we got there. <laughs> Close, man. And I want the coin. Blech. Do I even need no storm within? I think that's a no because then uh, the red scale dragon tamers will draw into no storm. Interesting, but I think this is actually good enough. And of course, I'll just drop the Dragon Tamer on two. We'll do a fight for the board. But this is nuts. But he, that's, that's the good class to counter this one, but... That's okay. You get some armor. Actually, the one counter play that he could do is that he leaves me alone, and then... I fill up the board space. <laughs> Likely that's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna fill in some minions here. Sure. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's do this. Break it, you buy it. That's kind of what I don't want to uh, to be drawn, but what can you do? Please let me get no storm, dude. It's still gonna be crazy. And there we go. And we will use a. We'll use this one. This is way more damage. <coughs> Forty one points of damage. And that's just the first wave. Need a hand, oh, I'm good. He's gonna get both. Good start. Good start. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will use this one and that one. Face and that. Almost missed the damage. That was definitely a good comeback. But. Only 12 cards. Interesting. Maybe I shouldn't have thrown Nostormo back. You could use him now. We'll see. Then I can circus amalgam and murder. With the uh, sphere, I'll just try and Push back. See if two is that what he's going for? Luna, and then what? And then the swipe. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I I'm pushing it all the way to the bottom, but I. Th I think I just need to draw some other stuff here. We'll get this out. Tip the scales can go to the bottom. I've drawn all my Murlocs. the weight he needs to actually not guess the weight so this is an expensive card he drew that but then okay fair enough fair enough that one can go to the bottom no worries and south Um, rush. Maybe, yeah. Reporting for duty. We'll use that one. Make sure you get one point less of damage. He still has a swipe left.
In time, you too uh -oh. will bloom. How much can he do? Never bloom. The void is filled with many wizards. I'm really wishing that I kept the. It can go to the bottom. There you go. If you don't mind, I would like 10 mana as well. And then I'll reshuffle to get the clowns back. Push that one there. And then get rid of him. Maybe the Dark Moon Rabbit can do some good work. We'll see. <coughs> if he's gonna leave that there, then yes. different one not that it helped a lot but there we go on my behalf what 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 do you got Sure, but now you're making the same mistake again. I'm not getting the elemental, but I think this is definitely worth doing again. And the rabbit. There we go. Still is going to be a little bit of a tough fight. 10 points. He still has a swipe. Does he have... Is that the Maligos list? I'm a bit concerned that it might be. Still need like two or three turns. No! Okay, I guess that's the least dangerous, maybe. Just your York. Dude! It's fine. That's not fine, but still not too crazy. That's good. Does not matter. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I actually hit that one. I guess maybe thanks. It's just the order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, kill Rattlegore, please. No. <sighs> okay. Yeah. And even if it's ambush, it's fine. Uh, we can't do that because of clone. We'll see if it's ambush. Not, we'll leave it. If it is shenanigans, it's not gonna have any effect. A storm will. Let's see what he gets. It's not that one. 
Bamboozle. How afraid am I of that one? You don't pick the walks. Redemption? Let's do this. And then we'll get some armor. Then I, I would really want to drop Scrapyard with Redemption. Uh oh. How do I heal? He's just gonna pick uh, Pyroblast. Oh man! And I can't do anything about it unless I draw maybe Want Maker and try to do something. Doesn't even matter because he has the pyroblast. Oh, twenty-two. I can try and psych him out about the Let me think. York. Oh, my York. And then drop a few clowns. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, let's see if I can. Bait him into not playing the pyroblasts, which I probably cannot. He's probably just gonna say, oh, I'm all in. Ah, then he's got it. Ah, that's how you lose. <sighs> the D money is. Oh, no, D money. Uh, Highland. Highland, uh, Druid. Uh, that's one way. I think it was a mistake not keeping the Stormo in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that was just for your information. I think that was actually a mistake. But this is above some games where you've seen Red Paladin win, and there's ways to beat it. And thanks for watching, guys.